Check out Skywheel, a Parisian firm that has introduced the first electric skis ever made. They are raising their game to take on electric scooters and unicycles. Each ski has a 600 watt motor that allows you to reach speeds of up to 80 km per hour. The upside is that these skis are quite light, at just 12.5 kg, and can be transported like a suitcase on wheels. However, keep in mind that a single charge only lasts for 30 km. A pair of these skis will cost you $1,850 if you're interested. Production is scheduled to begin in April, with delivery anticipated by June of this year. Experts from FutureGo in China see regular commutes looking like this in the future. Using technologies from the automotive sector, they have created the smartest self-balancing scooter in the world. With just one charge, this two-wheeled scooter can travel up to 60 kilometers, taking up 45-degree slopes with courage. Its top speed of 20 km per hour and the ABS system's guarantee of a 1-meter stopping distance make it dependable even in dire situations. Additionally, you can go off-road and take a shortcut to the workplace thanks to the all-terrain tires. This scooter is available for $300,000. Approximately 225 days of the year, snowfall occurs in the northernmost region of Finland. Make snowmobiles when you have snow in life. Pasi Kalpinen, a Finnish innovator, does precisely that. His invention, the Ilili, is a cross between an electric scooter and a snowmobile. Its 1 kilowatt motor allows it to travel at up to 25 km per hour, and a full charge allows for 2.5 hours of riding time. Renting the Ilili, a two-hour trip through the completed countryside will settle any concerns you may have regarding comfort. It will cost you $120. Recall this $6,800 squad car from Solar City. The cost of this surfboard is $9,000. The ability to surf waves at 70 km per hour provides the explanation for why, but the brilliance doesn't end there. A U.S. business called SRU, which specializes in electric bicycles, makes these boards. It's interesting to note that the battery weights 21 kilograms as opposed to 18 for the board. Nevertheless, Sai Russia asserts that it is the lightest electric surfboard in the world and provides an enjoyable hour of surfing. Let's move on to another unusual car in our fleet. The Finnish-made patent-pending Skik is an inventive electric scooter. This year-round vehicle has a range of 55 kilometers and can reach speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour. It is made to be used on both asphalt and snow. Its foldable shape, which allows it to easily fit into a car trunk, is what makes it unique. $4,029 is where you can buy Skik. Pompa Car's motto is Fun for kids and adults that is environmentally friendly. Not only does this distinctive American bicycle need arm motions, but leg movements as well. It has a motor for up to 40 km per hour in its most sophisticated models. The adult model costs 600 and can accommodate riders weighing up to 136 kg. Although the price tag might appear high, more than $33,000 pumper vehicle units have already been sold. Notably, Experts in medicine have recognized the advantages of this mode of transportation. Let's now have a look at the Chinese team at Naxion, who are creating cutting-edge electric mopeds that give riders new levels of exhilaration. Pick up the Naxion. For example, I am ideal for city commutes. In 2.8 seconds, it accelerates from 0 to 50 km per hour has a maximum speed of 120 km per hour and has a 180 km range on a single charge. According to news reports, this spring, the Nexion IM will be available in France, Belgium and Germany at an approximate expense of $8,000.
the US-based company Doron Aerospace is showcasing its most recent accomplishments. The US Federal Aviation Administration has certified the Doron H1 flying car, granting it national use officially. All that's left to do is wait for production to resume next year, as there have already been enough pre-orders. The H1 has some remarkable numbers. It runs on electricity, has a maximum speed of 225 km per hour, and has a range of 100 km between charges. With a width of 4.5 meters and a maximum payload of 227 kg, it might just fit into a double garage. Although hoverboards aren't yet a reality, Marty McFly traveled from 1985 to 2015 in the Back to the Future film and discovered some fantastic stuff. While certain prototypes similar to those in the film have been reported in the media, others do not. One, designed by South Korean experts, resembles a little hovercraft. Given its ability to transport both people and goods, it may prove useful in the future for warehouse work and short distance delivery. Are you familiar with Polaris Industries? This American corporation is well known for producing all-terrain vehicles, motorbikes, and snowmobiles. Even the Pentagon is one of their clients because of how dependable they are. It's not only famous people though. They also sell their items to regular people. Consider the Indianapolis VR1 snowmobile. The engine of the first iteration is 650 cc. It weights only 227 kg because of the matrix platform and clever utilization of aluminum and carbon. Then there's the crossover like Switchback Assault, a model with a lot of versatility. It has a 650cc engine as well. These two versions retail for around 16,700. The people at Ama in Japan have created the lightest and most compact electric scooter in the world. It only weighs 4.5 kg and can be quickly transformed from a backpack to a suitcase in 30 seconds. In addition, the scooter has a respectable 15 km range and a comfortable 24 km per hour top speed. Furthermore, it only takes a few hours to fully charge it with a Type-C cable. If you're interested, you can purchase this cool gadget on Kickstarter for $1,069 but you'll need to wait until at least June for it to arrive at your house. Force One Personal Vtol, the Netherlands plans to close all of its coal-fired power facilities by 2030 with solar power plants providing 14% of the country's electricity in 2022. Several local companies are embracing the green energy movement. One of them unveiled the Quad Solar City Car, a compact solar-powered city vehicle that costs under $6,800. Reaching speeds of up to 45 km per hour, it travels 100 km. Another Dutch team is using solar technology to power water transportation. In solar boat racing, the Klafis Victron Energy Solar Boat Team has won both national and international titles. Introducing the Furia 3 Mark III, their brainchild. It may not be the most beautiful, but it can reach speeds of up to 52 km per hour. The batteries from MG Electronics, which have simultaneously solved two issues, are one of the keys to its success. It improved its battery systems by using some of the solutions discovered during the process of working with the boats, in addition to making a first-hand contribution to the advancement of solar technology. While we're talking about water transportation, let's have a look at the Israeli team's effort. Kickoff. With its smart water scooter, they hope to take swimming to a whole new level, promising a flying-like experience. It can be fastened to a surfboard with an adapter or worn like a backpack. The most sophisticated model, the Kickfin Pro, allows you to explore the underwater world down to 40 meters and reaches speeds of up to 10.8 kilometers per hour. The scooter costs $2,600 and weighs 6.15 kg with the battery included.
In 2021, the British company Caterham was owned by VT Holdings, a Japanese company. It follows that the Caterham 7 170 Roadster's design is similar to that of the well-known Japanese K-Cars. But the engineers went above and beyond what K-Cars could produce, creating a 440 kilogram Roadster with an 84 horsepower turbocharged engine. This car accelerates to 100 km per hour in roughly 7 seconds. On the website of Top Gear, the Roadster received an 8 out of 10, and it cost $37,400.